What's up YouTube, it's TCG here with a Steam demo review of the White Laboratory. This demo just released on Steam and so far the full version has not been released so the content of the demo may not be reflective of the final product. Without further ado, let's get into it. When I first started up the demo, it didn't take me to a menu screen or anything, rather it brought me right to the first level. It gives a quick tutorial of the most basic thing which you can do in the game is build. This build system is the game's fundamental platform for building and upgrading the towers that you use to progress through the level. There seems to be no story. Even up to level 5, there's not really any plot development whatsoever. The difficulty curve is not that steep, though I did run into trouble on level 3, which was easily remedied by my new strategy. Instead of having a few strong towers around your pyramid, I think it's the centerpiece, the core, have a lot of weak towers spread around the red paths that the enemies follow. Throughout the game, there were a few enemies that I encountered, the cube, sphere, and cylinder. When you kill them, you get to use their bodies to build up your towers and make a stronger defense. The cube makes the base of the tower, which you can build to make it higher, give your radius of that tower an extra boost. The cylinder makes it a rotating tower so that your sphere, which kills enemies, can rotate around and shoot enemies on any side of the I also noticed on level 5 there was a rotating cube when you put a cube on the cylinder and put four spheres on either side of that cube. I don't know if this was quite effective, I just wasn't paying attention to that that much. It seemed like it was very hit and miss, like they'd be spinning around really fast shooting at the enemies, but it would hit the ground or hit the side of them. It didn't really seem to be that effective, although there was more firepower. From what I played, it didn't seem like something I'd pay for. I do like tower defense games, but this one isn't on my list. You just get sent from level to level without any real feeling of progression. I mean, there's hardly a feeling of failure as well. Like, I couldn't tell how much health I was I was losing or when I was losing that health, because there's no health bar anywhere. I did eventually learn that the screen slowly cracks as you lose health, though. But when I died, I just pressed restore and I was right back to level 3 with hardly any penalty. If I had to rate this game, I'd give it a 6 out of 10 because of the lack of story and that I don't really feel like I'm working towards something. The graphics quality is really good and it doesn't require that much processing power to play, but I also miss the upgrades and the feeling I get when I click next wave and realize that I should have upgraded this tower or placed this tower instead of doing whatever. The feeling I get when my heart starts racing as they start swarming towards the end and my towers are picking them off slowly, but then I pull out winning. This game is just really slow paced and, and not really moving fast enough, I guess, is the best way to put this game. It doesn't move quickly enough for me to get any real sense of enjoyment out of it. Everyone is different though, and if you feel from the footage that this game might be for you, the demo link will be in the description, but you do need the Steam client to play. Also, if you like the video, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. We'll be doing more demo reviews. The next demo review, I believe, will be Beat Bunny, which also released today. But uh, other than that, stay tuned and have a nice day.